Most people can't understand Huangdi Neijing or the Yellow Emperor's inner canon because it's written in classical Chinese. However, the majority of its content is not obscure. It mainly expounds on practical principles. For example, during cold weather, one should wear more clothes to avoid catching a cold. During hot weather, one should dress lightly to prevent sweating excessively. Another example is from the words of Chibo. When there is heat in the stomach, food is digested quickly, causing a sensation of emptiness in the heart and a constant feeling of hunger. If the skin above the navel feels warm and the stools are yellowish, it indicates heat in the intestines. If the skin below the navel feels cold, it indicates cold in the intestines, leading to rumbling in the abdomen and diarrhea. When there is heat in the stomach and cold in the intestines, a person may experience hunger and abdominal distension and pain. According to Huangdi Neijing, physicians can assess the condition of the internal organs based on the external symptoms exhibited by the patient. Lingxu states, Observe the external manifestations of qi to understand the condition of the internal organs, thus determining the illness. This is the theoretical foundation of TCM's diagnostic principle of judging the internal condition from the external symptoms. Additionally, the explanation of conforming to or deviating from the natural order in the inner canon helps us understand the principle of disease regression or progression. The dialectical thinking in the Yellow Emperor's inner canon helps us recognize the importance of personalized treatment, which is also a significant advantage of traditional Chinese medicine over Western medicine. Personalized treatment plans are tailored to each patient's clinical symptoms and signs, taking into account factors such as gender, age, height, weight, and family medical history, aiming to design the most optimal treatment plan for them to maximize therapeutic effects and minimize side effects. Huangdi Neijing states, the superior physician treats before the disease manifests. From a long-term perspective, personalized medicine utilizes more precise diagnosis to predict the risk of potential diseases, provide more effective and targeted treatments, and prevent the occurrence of certain diseases. It is more effective and cost-saving compared to the widespread one-size-fits-all treatment approach in Western medicine. Personalized treatment plans are an important trend in the healthcare industry. In traditional Chinese medicine, Huang Di Nei Jing is like the roots of a big tree, giving birth to the foundation of TCM theory and clinical methods and prescriptions, generating various dialectical methods such as those in Treatise on Cold Damage by the famous Han physician Zhang Zhang Jing, and then branching out into various schools, benefiting humanity with its branches, leaves, flowers, and fruits. Huang Di Neijing holds the belief that there is no disease that cannot be cured. In Lingxu, Qi Bo says, even though an illness may be prolonged, it can still be resolved completely. When one says it cannot be treated, it is because they have not yet acquired the necessary skills. This suggests that even chronic illnesses can be healed. When someone claims otherwise, it's simply because their medical skills have not reached a sufficient level. The Inner Canon is the fundamental classic of TCM and has always been a must-read and deeply studied work for TCM practitioners. Among the scholars who studied the classics, Li Zhongzi of the Song Dynasty was particularly proficient in it. He focused on the key points of the Inner Canon, simplified the content, conducted selective categorization, and compiled the book Essentials of the Yellow Emperor's Inner Canon, making the content of the Inner Canon more concise and accessible for future generations. Essentials of the Yellow Emperor's Inner Canon consists of two volumes divided into eight categories, the way of life, yin and yang, color diagnosis, pulse diagnosis, organ physiology, meridians, treatment principles, and disease manifestations.